really truly an honor um, to be here today, and uh, I've had the opportunity to um, coach Vince and and uh, to be with his family through all these years. Um, you know, my first exposure uh, to Vince was at the Indianapolis Combine, and uh, we sat in that hotel room and interviewed him for about 20 minutes. And um, when he came in, uh, first thing I said to uh, Scott and, and the other scouts was like, it is a waste of time. There's no way he's going to be there when we pick. Just like Robert said, that was absolutely the truth. And um, when we were able to select him with that 21st pick in, in 2004, um, that was really, I'd say, in, in my career, one of the real surprises um, that I've ever personally been a part of uh, with a draft that, um, that Vince was actually on the board when we selected. So, um, you know, he came in and, uh, you know, his rookie year, uh, as good of a, a defensive lineman as he was at Miami, uh, which I'll get that in a second, um, you know, we, we had a pretty good tackle in uh, Ted, and so Vince actually started for us, started in the Super Bowl, started at defensive end. And I tell that to our rookies all the time that, um, you know, no matter how great of a player you are like Vince was, uh, he actually ended up playing a different position uh, at the beginning of his career than really what ended up being his primary position. But, you know, Vince was a, a very dominant player at University of Miami. He played a one and three technique. It was, uh, they used a scheme where he ran up the field every play. Uh, he was very disruptive. He caused a lot of negative plays. And, you know, we, we played more of a, a two-gap style, head on the blocker. And, um, you know, as some of our scouts had a little bit of a question of how well he would be able to two-gap be just because he didn't do it at Miami. Um, but honestly, it take about one play to understand that Vince is as good a two-gapper as probably has ever played in this game. And um, he proved that right, right off the bat. It didn't take him long to adjust to our scheme. Vince is one of the most uh, versatile players that I've ever coached. Um, he has a tremendous skill set. He's quick. He's very athletic, light on his feet. Uh, runs well um, and has obviously tremendous strength and power at the line of scrimmage. So that's a pretty good combination. Uh, another strength of his is his intelligence. And, you know, we, we ask our players to not to only know what they do, but know what the guys beside them do, understand the overall scheme, and understand situational football. And, and um, you know, Vince is uh, the best defensive lineman that I've ever coached at that because of his ability to not only know what he was doing, but control the entire line, but also understand, you know, what the situation in the game was, what they were trying to do, and what our, our opponents are trying to do, how to adjust to it, and so forth. Um, and, you know, when we played them uh, last year, well, actually two years ago down in Houston, uh, is the first time we ever ran the uh, actually triple wham, you know, uh, because we, we knew that he would play the wham block, and then we had the wham off the wham, and so this is really kind of a third variation of it, a little bit of a scheme play. But it just it, I just say that in, in light of the amount of respect that I have for uh, Vince's intelligence, his ability to understand uh, blocking schemes, plays, uh, and just the total concept of football, what it took to win. You know, in our captain's meetings, um, we have uh, usually five or six captains, depending on the year and the way it, the way it falls and so forth. And uh, all the captains always speak in those meetings. I, I, I ask every single guy, you know, certain questions about how the team's doing or their position or their group or whatever. Um, but uh, as in any group, certain captains stick out above other captains. And, uh, and Vince was kind of the captain of the captains. Um, he... He was the true leader of the team.